there are a lot of smart people at the CDC making some really great recommendations based on science, based on the data that they have available to them. But then it's up to us at the state or local level to implement those recommendations. And so I think it's really helpful if they give us um, a primer or actually get our feedback before they release it publicly of how will you interpret this? How will you be able to implement this on the ground level? Because it's one thing to write the plan and to say this is what you should do, but it's a completely other thing to implement it in a community, in my case of 900,000 or in Dr. Ferrer's case of 10 million people. How do you implement it fairly and justly for all people, those who have access to healthcare, those who don't have access to healthcare. You know, when you think about it, one of their recommendations um, a while back was you had to test to get out of isolation. Well, for many in my community, that's almost impossible. And it's not because we don't have testing available, but how are they going to get to the testing, particularly if they're still infectious? You know, are they going to ride the bus if they're still infectious? They don't have transportation. So we have to think about, you know, how do we implement it? How practical is it? So I really hope that when they look at all of their plans, they think about a mechanism to engage local and state health officials as a sounding board before it's released publicly. That's one thing I would really like to see, and I feel comforted um, seeing that as part of their plan moving forward.